A few weeks ago, I found a flight that was $1 to Vietnam and I manically booked it. I documented my time there, but I do want to say I didn't go to Vietnam with the intention to create any sort of content. It was literally just for myself because I was really at a breaking point in Japan and I needed a break so desperately. And so I went to Vietnam because it was very affordable for me to go and I had the time to do it. It was unexpectedly the most healing experience I've ever had. I went in with no expectations, but at the same time, I knew that I was gonna be there with like no friends. I was just gonna be there completely by myself. So I didn't think it was gonna be as fun as it was or as healing as it was. One of the best experiences of my life. So I have a vlog out of it because I did record as much as I could. I'm obviously back in Japan now. I've been here for like four days. Here is the video. Let me tell you how much I paid for this for four nights at the end of me showing you this place because it's actually insane. So here's the bathroom. She's very cute. Nice shower head. Y'all know I love a fucking shower head. This is a nice bathroom. It's so cute. And then going out, it's like all like antique furniture. Here's the actual room. We, I have like a whole kitchen. Look at these like drape things. This is insane. We got plants. We got a whole fucking bathtub. Like I can take a bath in here. And then there's even a balcony out here. But now that I'm here, I think the first thing that I'm going to do is head out to go get something to eat and also get coffee because Vietnam is really well known for their coffee. And I want to try like as many cafes as I can. And I also want a banh mi because they're fucking everywhere here, obviously, because it's a Vietnamese dish. My Airbnb host told me that I actually need to like really hold on to my stuff because there's like pickpocketers and people will snatch your phone out of your hand. So I need to be careful about that. But let's go. Y'all, I can't believe that I'm here. Like, what the fuck? There's no traffic lights in Vietnam and I just have to cross into oncoming traffic. Okay, I'm going. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh my God. I think I made it. I think I did it. It has started raining. However, I'm actually not mad about it because it was supposed to rain thunderstorm actually all week. So this, I do not mind at all. I'm perfectly okay with that. But everyone yeah. seems to. Uh huh. This dude just tried to offer me something. It's a vibe here. That fucking coffee was so good. Or the matcha that I got was literally insanely good. So many places here have egg coffee, which is like nowhere else. And I was skeptical, but it was really good. Joe thrift shop. Let's go. The way that place was actually not the vibe, like literally in the slightest. All their clothes were like drop shipped and their shoes were fake. How is it a thrift store? I'm so confused. And I spoke too soon. Now it's raining like really fucking hard. But also I don't really know what to do. I have like a good amount of time before like nighttime. So I could definitely like do something. I just don't know what. But I got a coffee, another one. This is a coconut coffee. Oh wow. Yeah, this one you like, I change for you. Then this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six. I'm coming, don't yeah. worry. Oh. I had the small size, I have the bigger size, many color. Uh -huh. I have the many Right. I'm good on that. How much? What are you gonna charge me? A million? No, don't worry about it. How much? No, you're just trying to sell me everything now. Mm. Where are you going? Literally, as soon as I bought something, she said, fuck you. She said I was nice, though. No. That's really good. How much for a bag of it? Is there no sugar in there? Mango. Swiss already. No sugar. Oh. So many of them spoke Japanese. That was so funny. I just got back to my Airbnb. This Airbnb came with no conditioner or body wash. So I had to go buy some. Boom. This is actually the body wash I use in Japan. It's a Japanese body wash. I don't know why they have it at 7-Eleven here, but they do. And then at the market, I got those little like coasters because I've been needing coasters. Okay, I'm not going to take them out the thing, but y'all saw them. I've been wanting coasters for my dining table. So I'm actually really excited about that. And then I got dried mango, which is something I was actually looking for. He let me try a piece, it was so fucking good. I was like, oh my God. I fucking love Vietnamese people. Like they weren't just looking at me as like a money grab. Literally all of them were trying to talk to me in like Japanese and like asking me how old I was in Japanese and like what I do. So it was like really personable and it was like a fun experience to talk to all of them. They were all like 
so nice. I feel like a lot of people probably look at them as just people like trying to scam you, but that's not the case. I mean, she was trying to charge me like the maximum price she could for like everything that I was trying to buy, but I ended up getting the price that I wanted anyway. But now I'm gonna shower because I feel so disgusting after being in the rain, on the plane, traveling all day, sweating. Like I feel so fucking gross right now. There's still like a lot of the night left, but I think I'm just gonna like stay in and wind down after traveling and shit. And I still have like four days in Vietnam. So I have plenty of time in this city. Time to take a shower. Hi guys, good morning. I sound very congested because I am. However, I am happy that I like don't feel very sick. Like I don't feel awful. I'm literally just congested and like coughing a little bit. So I'm glad that I'm not actually dying while I'm here, but I just woke up. I slept so well. This bed is really fucking nice and really comfortable. Waking up here was really nice. Like this place is so cute. I went to the beach like a week ago and my back is peeling so bad. I can literally pull the skin like down my back just for a little hint of like what that looks like. I don't know if I should show you guys that. It's really bad. Like I'm literally finding flakes of my skin everywhere. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to a cafe that I found online. It looks so good. And then I think I'm gonna do a couple like touristy things around. Is it raining? No, it's not raining right now, but it might be later. I'm gonna do like a few touristy things. So let's go. My skin is so fucking dry though. And I forgot my moisture. Let me not fucking pretend I forgot. I literally was too lazy to pack my moisturizer so I didn't pack it. And now I'm really regretting it because my skin is really dry even though it's so humid outside so i don't know why my skin is so dry but i'm just gonna be walking around with flaky skin i'm getting a postcard and i'm sending it to as many people as i can because they have so many postcards here and you can send them to people and i think it's really cute bye bye where you from man no stop no 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 glue why, why are you really doing good. that right here and now you're gonna make me pay for it where you from i'm from america oh you at yeah how long here vietnam i got here yesterday no 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 glue no. sorry sorry no okay stop what you have blue, you yeah. Bruh, they stop you for literally everything here. Like that dude would not leave me alone. And then just started putting fucking glue on my shoes. Like I, he just immediately stopped me and started putting glue on my shoes. And I was like, now nah, you're gonna make me fucking pay for it. And he didn't. He literally didn't make me pay for it, but he was mad at me because I told him to stop. And then he didn't make me pay for it. So I don't know how to feel right now. Hello, you look so cute. Oh, there's another one over there. Hello. You guys, I'm finally getting bun me because I came across this place that has a dog sitting right outside. and I got distracted. I got coconut juice. Thank you. Tastes like nothing. Y'all look at this. I'm about to try pummy for the first time. My ass is heading back to the Airbnb because I'm beat, but that bunny was so good. I was not like hungry enough to eat that, but I felt like I had to because I was in front of all the people that were working there. So I was like, oh my God, I have to eat this. But now I'm like way too full. So now I'm like, okay, I need to go home and like lay down for at least like an hour. I'm not like a go, go, go traveler. Like I need like breaks. So that's what's happening. Basically, I've been sitting here for like two hours eating dried mangoes that I got from the market yesterday. I do really want to go to another cafe and get coffee. Y'all, I love the coffee here. Every coffee that I've had, which is like three, are so good. Like every single one is so fucking good. And they actually have like flavored coffees here. Like I'm a bitch that likes a unicorn, caramel, frappuccino, mixture, blend, fruits, whatever. Like I literally like the whole nine yards, but they don't have that in Japan. Like literally everywhere you go in Japan, it's like black coffee or nothing. In Vietnam, they do. They have like, I got a salt latte yesterday which was really good today i got a strawberry s'mores latte which was really really good yesterday i got an egg coffee which was really good so i want to go get another coffee and then do some more exploring but today beat me y'all and right when i got home right when i got home it started pouring down rain so i'm so glad i got home when i did when i was eating my bun me i looked at the time and it was 10 30 in the morning and i was like no fucking way. How is it only 10.30? Now it's like 1 p.m. or something. So I still have like the whole day ahead of me. Y'all, I still have like three days here. <laughs> I don't know what else I'm gonna do. Wait, I'm getting kind of nervous now. <laughs> like I literally don't know what else to do. I'm not complaining though. Like there's definitely other stuff I wanna do. I wanna go to the war museum and I went to the post office today. Like I'm not here to just fucking like spend money on cheaper shit, but let's go find a cafe. Oh my god, y'all, 
I'm so happy I came to this fucking store. This outfit is so cute. And like the clothes are so good price. I'm going to an event in LA and I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear there. And I think this might be it. Maybe this shirt, but this is like $20. The pants are like $20. This is $20, like everything is so cheap. Yes. I ended up buying so much fucking stuff. Y'all should have seen my arms in the fucking store. Like, I was literally holding clothes like this because everything was so cute in that store. But the prices were so fucking good. Like, I try to get clothes like this all the time, but they're so expensive in America and Japan. But they're so much cheaper here. Like, in total, I got all of this, including a pair of shoes that I've wanted for so long for literally $300. It's just unheard of for what I got. I'm just gonna show you guys some of the stuff that I got. Like, my favorite things because this is, like, a lot of stuff honestly also not to mention i'm pretty sure all of these brands are this like one brand that i bought from or two brands that i bought from are like local to vietnam and not like drop shipped like actual like designers that like live here so i also like felt good like supporting a local brand there's these shorts that i got they're so fucking cute they have like little buttons on the top these jeans are honestly what i'm most excited about however there's no hole to put this through to put the thing to button them through there's literally just no fucking hole there and it's same for the other pair of pants that I got, so I'm really confused how I'm supposed to like button them. But these jeans are so cool. Wait, the currency here is so confusing. These were like 700,000 Vietnamese dong, which is only like $30, I think. Look at how cute these jeans are. They're giant. They're literally giant. They're kind of like Jinkos. Slay. Here's the other pants. They also equally slay. The brand is Hypnosis, by the way. Like basically all of this stuff is by Hypnosis, except for I think one thing. I also got this shirt. She's super cute. What do we think? And I'm obsessed and that's the fucking conclusion. I was asking the guy at the store like do you have any other recommendations for stores like this and he was like no this is literally the only one in Ho Chi Minh and I was like oh okay so that's why I bawled. Yes! I got these shoes as well. You guys actually don't fucking understand. I've wanted these shoes for like years but they're kind of expensive and these are used but like they're in pretty good condition. I can like wipe up the side but these were like I think 180 bucks. They were like four million five hundred thousand vietnamese dong but that's a good price for these so i was like i'm fucking buying them they are a little bit big on my feet so it was kind of like an impulse and i was like they're cheap so i need to get them and i'm really fucking happy with them i'm so excited they were like yeah do not walk home with all of this stuff and i was like yeah i'm definitely taking a taxi because it's like dangerous to walk around with like stuff like that like saigon's known for pickpocketing um so i've been really wary of my things that's not even everything I got. I also got the stuff that I was like trying on in the fitting room. But I got stuff for an event that I'm going to in LA. And I'm so excited because I was really stressed about what to wear to this event. And I got something that looks like really good and I'm really happy with it. So this is a fucking success. Good morning. This is my outfit. I love it. I'm wearing literally everything I bought at the store yesterday. And I think I'm going to go back to that store today to buy more stuff. But I'm kind of nervous because I'm literally wearing all the stuff that I bought yesterday. And they're going to be like, oh my God, he's literally wearing the stuff that he bought yesterday. I also so am now thinking about getting my nails done again. So I might end up doing that today. I was looking into getting like Vietnamese like antique furniture and figuring out how to ship it to Japan, but it's way too complicated. So I don't think I'm doing that. <laughs> Let's just see where the day takes us. Let's go. walking through this area and it's so fucking pretty like here's the cathedral but it's under construction so i can't see it over here's just like such a beautiful park with like really tall trees it's a vibe i like it here i ended up just eating at this cafe that's like right next to this park it's so pretty over there like i want to just walk through the park because the trees are so huge and this cafe looks so good y'all know they have an acai bowl <laughs> i'm getting acai y'all i'm back at this store again i i don't want to talk about it okay i don't want to talk about why i'm at the store again but they have like so many more things that I want to buy. These jeans are so cute. And they're literally like $20. Hey y'all, next morning again, I'm literally just here just to show you my outfit. Oh, I need to steam this shirt, but this is what I got yesterday. I got these pants, which are literally so fucking cute. Like the details of them are so cool. And I just love buying these like local Vietnamese, like, like higher end brands. And I also got this shirt from, I think it's the same 
brand, maybe not, I don't know. But today I'm getting my nails done because I decided I'm just gonna fucking do it. I also found out it's literally only like $10 to get my nails done. So let's fucking do it. I had my Vietnamese friend in Japan make an appointment for me. Love you, Hazel. She's an angel for doing that. So we'll see what happens with my nails. y'all here are the new nails i'm actually in fucking love with them i was really nervous because he started painting them like a really dark color but i'm so glad that i told him to stop doing that because it was really bad it was like lime green and i wanted like a pastel green but they turned out so well and now i have new nails it's like and they were literally like 15 dollars oh, i've been playing lana at the cafe y'all by airbnb i'm oh, so sad i don't want to leave i love it here so much but i have to go bye bye i'm gonna lose my mind i just brought this down this heavy ass suitcase down like two flights of stairs and i was just told that i can leave it for storage in my apartment so now i have to carry it back up awesome